The next feature I'd like to machine on this part is this flat right here. Now I could drive this off the solid geometry, but I'm going to create some wireframe geometry for a few other reasons as well. So I'll create, curve, one edge, and I'm going to drive that line there and that line. And I'm also going to create a few arcs at my material size here that will come into play when I'm picking my clearance and retract planes. I'm going to select that shoulder and then the base of it there. OK. And turn my shading off. And take a look that I've got my appropriate wireframe there. And then I'm going to go into my view manager. Just to show you that my WCS is in top and my C and my T plane are as well. When I go into my C axis toolpath, it's automatically going to switch to the needed plane. That's one great advantage of using these C-axis toolpaths is automatic plane management. So we're going to be doing a cross contour. And for my chains, like that line and that line. Got a 5 16 flat end mill. Cut parameters. Compensation, where. And then lead in, lead out. Turn that on, entry, and copy it over to exit. Multi passes. I have two passes, ten thousandths apart. And then my linking parameters. Now I'm going to set this up for a very efficient tool path. So I selected my geometry at depth, zero incremental. My top of stock zero incremental as well. Feed plane, zero for that. And then retract. I'm going to switch this to absolute and then right click our radius of an arc. And here's where my wireframe comes into play. I'm going to pick that small diameter there and then just add a hundred thousandths to it. And then clearance switch to absolute and then I'm going to key in my stock size plus a quarter of an inch. Arc filter, turn that on and then axis control. Now this tool path is going to need a y-axis motion because c-axis is not going to work. The tool has to get off the center line. So OK. Then if we back plot, the tool wrap its depth, makes its pass, and makes another pass, and then does the same thing for that other chain there. So even though the actual top of stock was this smaller diameter here, I had my lead in and lead out turned on so I could wrap it to full depth, clear of the part. And then if I want to verify, I'm going to pick all operations, verify, and there we have our flat.